So we're right here at the Lenovo, uh, Lenovo booth here at CES 2005. And there is this beautiful, super slim, crazy thin. So if you come here and come closer, you can see that this, this is an ARM-based um, design, uh, ARM-based laptop, the first ever in the world. But one of the first that are like so slick, so, so like, so thin and it looks really nice and it's blue and so let's, let's try let's try and boot it up so you can come a little bit closer and we can see I'm gonna try and boot it up just so you can see what's going on I clicked and it's booting up so right here we can see Lenovo 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 I don't know how it's exactly to say Lenovo but there it is it is booting up it's booting up a, a, a full Linux this is like an embedded Linux it's in, uh, based on, if I remember correctly, it's based on Thunderbolt or Thunderbolt, something like that. Uh, I should check, but you can, you, you, you should know. And then uh, it asks for a login. So there's a password. We can make a break. So right here, we just entered the password, and we see uh, what's going on right now. We just entered the password, and there, there it is. The interface is loaded up. Uh, it seems to be kind of uh, still finalizing. So right now there's only one widget open. There's just the browser. And up here in the corner we see you can choose if you want to have um, if you want to have mobile uh, AT&T connection or the Wi-Fi. So you choose the one that you want. So we're going to try and see if we can connect to the mobile AT&T. Uh, I don't know if it's available right now. I'm going to try and see if um, um, is it still no it should be maybe there. So I'm going to click on it, if I go on Wi-Fi right here, if I go back, so those are the Wi-Fi's that they can find. So you see there are Wi-Fi's around here, uh, uh, so it's a Wi-Fi and 3G device, so there you can see all the, all the Wi-Fi's around here. But let's go on AT&T 3G because that's what's most, most, uh, most uh, kind of important. So go here, connect to mobile network, so if you can see right here is it focused, yeah. It's connecting to the mobile network, AT&T 3G, connection established. So that's cool. So what I do is, I open the browser, and the browser is right there, and there's uh, space for widgets over here, but I just want to have a, a full screen browser. So you can see Google has loaded. Google is loaded. So what I do is, I'll try and uh, click here, experience the Nexus One, and what happens is, bang. Website is fast. It's loading. It's loading up, and um, so I'm gonna try and go on on this site uh, right here. I'm gonna I'm gonna close this this window, this tab, and I'm gonna try and load. Um, let's go on block search, and I created a search search query. I'm searching for the Lenovo Android phone right here. So it's it loads pages pretty fast. So if we go a little bit closer, we can see, um, I'm going to try and click on, let's click on, on this one, Engadget, the Engadget, uh, let's see if, if uh, Engadget is loading over 3G, in the building where, where, you know, there are big walls and stuff, so I'm not even sure. I don't really think that the, the 3G would be faster on an Intel-based uh, laptop right here, but of course it would be faster if there was uh, Wi-Fi, but right now there's no Wi-Fi. So right here we have, um, and it's trying to load a Flash, but it's not, uh, it's not, it doesn't support Viddler right now, so it would support if there was, uh, if there was YouTube. So I'm going to try and go on, on my site and see if my YouTube videos are all working. Um, so I go on armdevices.net and I hit enter and it's going to load in here in the building 3G. Um, it'll probably work better outdoors, I guess. 3G is going to try and load my site. It's, well, somehow it doesn't load right now. Well, that's just a problem with uh, at and We had Engadget before, but somehow it disconnected. And 
there's maybe too many people here at at, uh, at CES that are trying to connect. So over here you have a USB. Uh, the USB actually flips up, and the USB is like here. Uh, so right here we can see it's a, a USB dock right here. So I don't know if I can. I'll just put it off. You can see it has USB right here, which, which in theory could have all kinds of other accessories. You could perhaps have, this is a big, big USB thing. So it could be uh, the WiMAX, it could be maybe um, uh, white spaces, it could be a whole bunch of other things. It could be digital TV. And I put it back in, and right in here, you have, uh, right in here, we have a uh, SIM card, SIM card reader. Uh, you have um, uh, micro SD memory slot expansion, and uh, on the side there is the. the uh, could, could you open it, please? Could you open the? So right here we have. Um, HDMI output, which is cool, really cool. And there is one more thing here, and that is the SD card. SD card right here, SD card port, so that's cool. So there are both, and uh, another USB, and the headphones. So it's really cool, and it runs maybe 10 hours in a battery. Uh, runs really long time in a battery. Ooh, it did load my site at the end. So I'm going to try and see if it's just going to play this YouTube video on my site. O3G indoors. So you can see I'm there. I'm there on the internet. Streaming YouTube on an unpaired laptop, uh, embedded in the page. It's not um, a full screen uh, YouTube. They're still optimizing it, but embedded is working. It seems kind of smooth. And right here, you are seeing some. Uh, you can. Uh, you have all the all the YouTube things are going on. Uh, I'm just going to click here and I'm going to show you the full screen. So it's full screen kind of works, but. Uh, there's still some uh, hardware optimization, hardware acceleration that needs to be done here for Flash 10 on embedded Linux. Um, I'm gonna try and exit right here. Exit the video. Uh, go back. Exit. Maybe I need to start it before it exits. But that's that's part of the the, the optimizations that need to be need to be done. Right here. So what's going on right here? Let's exit it. Um, but that was yeah, that was my idea to try and go in full screen. But anyways, it's one of the bugs. It's YouTube, but they're gonna fix it. I mean, it's gonna work. YouTube is gonna work. It's just gonna take uh, them a little bit more time. I don't know what the status is on YouTube and all the other ARM-based devices, but. But here you have the latest status on, on this device, particular device, which is a, a specific kind of YouTube, uh, specific kind of, of Linux implementation on the laptop. Oh, now it's back. So, let's, 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 let me close, I'm going to close the, the browser. And, uh, oops, I'm going to close the browser. And then I'm gonna s go back. So now the browser is asleep; it's gone. So what you can do is you can you can run all these these um, uh, widgets down here. You just click on them, and you can add them to to your your bar. So what you can do is you double click on them, and it's popping up right here. So you can have a whole bunch of widgets here on, on the page, and you have a direct search up here. You have all these interface things going on. And uh, in here, if I go. Here, Obama, and all these things are going on. And if I go in advanced settings, uh, there's some settings for all these things going on right here. So all these things are here. That's cool. So if I click right here, you have a different kind of interface. You can have that. Right. So this is it. The Lenovo Skylight.